In today's video, I will show you how to set up the login and sign up page using Superbase and React. This is what the final result will look like. This is a sign up page where anyone can sign up for an account. And once you have an account, you can click on this link to go to the sign in page. Once a user successfully signs up for an account, you will be able to go to the Superbase dashboard and see the user here. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is to go to superbase.com and create an account. Once you successfully create an account, you should see this page where you can create a new project. Click on new project and click on new organization. And for the name, just type in whatever you'd like. I'll just type in tutorial for this example and hit create organization. Then type in a name for your project. I'll just do a tutorial example. And for your database password, just make sure it's like a strong password. And then for the pricing plan, just make sure it says free and then click on create new project. Once you're on this page, just copy both of these values that you see here, as we would need these values later. Now we'll create our React app and then connect our Superbase back into it later. So we can start by typing in the command npx create react app, followed by like the period, just to build the React project in its current folder. And I'll just hit enter. Once the React app has been created, the next thing we want to do is to create an environment file to load all of our secret variables that we're going to be using from Superbase. So I'll just create a file now called .env. And we're going to need two different keys and I'll just paste them here. You can name them whatever you would like. For the first key for the Superbase URL, we can get this by going back to Superbase dashboard and just copying the URL here and just pasting it. And then for the anon key, just copy it here and then paste it here as well and hit save. Then we can open up the source folder and open up the app.js file. We will be using a pre-built auth UI component that Superbase offers. We can learn more about it by going to this link, which I'll make sure to leave a link in the description. Once you're on this page, just scroll down until you see this code snippet and just click copy. Then switch back to the code editor and just replace all the code except for the very last line and just hit save. On line eight and nine, we just need to replace both these values from the values that we have in our environment file. So I'll just do process.env and copy the value here. And then do the exact same thing for the second line here and just make sure to use the right key and then hit save. One last thing that we need to do is to actually install the Superbase package, which you can do by going back to documentation link, scrolling up and copying the command here and then pasting inside a terminal and just hit enter. Once that process completes, actually we need to remove the code that's on line 15. Then the very last step we need to do is to add one more import statement. And that is this import statement here. Once you've done that, now you can run the application by typing npm run start and hitting enter. And if you've done all the steps correctly, you should now see this page. We can test the sign up page by clicking on this link. And if the email address is type in your email and then for the password, type in any password and click sign up. You should now see this message saying to check your email. If you go to your email, you should see a link just like this asking you to confirm your sign up and you just click on the link that says confirm your mail. And it should bring you back to this page. If we go back to the Superbase dashboard and click on authentication here, you should now see the email that we just signed up with. If we go back to the React app, we can now log into our account as well. And the easy way to test that this is actually working is to look at the network tab as we make the sign in request. So if I type in the email again and type in my password and click on sign in, and if we click on the network request, we can see that in the headers that we get a status code of 200 back. And in a response, we can see things like our access tokens, refresh token, and token type. And that is the end of this Superbase auth tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to set up your own login and sign up page using Superbase as a backend. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.